He could brew two cups straight off. He stepped into his bedroom to find the bathroom door slightly ajar and the water running inside the loo. He knocked smartly on the door and opened it wider. Whatever Neil was expecting to see, it wasn't this. He found Monica Bellucci on her knees. Her long chestnut hair tucked in a beret, busy scrubbing his bathtub. This could well have been every man's ultimate fantasy. And for a brief moment, Neil thought it was just that, his fantasy. But the Bellucci was real all right. She turned off the bath water and stood up, revealing herself to be almost his height. Shaking hands was not an option. Her rubber gloved hands were dripped soapy water onto the tiled bathroom floor. Hi, I'm Leila, Leader's daughter. Neil swallowed. Neil. He could not take his eyes off her. She smiled and was down on her knees again. Just finishing up. Another few minutes and I'm out of here. That was when Neil noticed his pile of dirty laundry. His wash clothes were still lying on the bathroom floor, all heaped up right behind her. I could go on because it gets quite interesting, but I think you should get the book and read it yourself. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Mother, may I invite you? You know, let's just go away. And they have a bromance, uh, you know, like I said, each one is very different. They have their individual personalities and yet when they're bonding, they bond big time because for them, just the friendship is a big deal. So no one's perfect. Each one has huge flaws. I mean, flaws like, you know, life-threatening flaws practically. I mean, if you say, you know, somebody's an alcoholic and somebody's got other issues. So there's all kinds of problems. But through those problems, they support each other and they keep their bonding intact. That is really what the story is about. Among their other problems are women. So the moment the girls come onto the scene, there is a lot of, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of cross currents, there's a lot of complications, and that is really what is driving that story forward. Who's your favorite character in the book? Ah, tough one, because I loved creating all of them, but I think the most fun I had was with uh, Mrs. Revati, who is Shank's uh, Tambra mother. She's a little conservative and she wants her son to marry a Tambram girl while her son is actually dating a Chinese girl. Oh. So. Wow, that we need to read more about. Talaji, since you're here, um, firstly, you'd like to something uh, tongue twister. Wait, so I'm going to come to that. So I'm going to start. And the unveiling of Manhattan Mango, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Sivin, thank you. Thank you, Madhuri.